Hi there. Today we're going to talk about what you need to do to get ready for OS X Snow Leopard. First of all, you're going to need to have a Mac. So if you don't, I'd suggest going out and buying one. But if you do have one, you're going to need to make sure that you have the correct type of Mac. So, go to the Apple menu up the top, sorry, and click on About This Mac. If your computer says it's an Intel based, you're good to go. Unfortunately, if you're like the other computer I have, and you're not, and you're a PowerPC protocol, you're in trouble. You're going to have to go out and get a new Mac if you want to use Snow Leopard. Apple recommends that you have at least 5 gigabytes of hard drive space, even though you will be getting 7 gigabytes back from your installation. They also say that you should at least have 1 gigabyte of RAM, which comes, you can't even get 1 gig on a computer anymore, they come with at least 2. Uh, and you need at least a 1.6 gigahertz processor if you want to use the enhanced features with QuickTime. Uh, besides that, there's really not a lot of requirements. Snow Leopard is really just a, an addition onto the current Leopard, which brings me to what you need to do to get ready for it. You need to have 10.5 installed on your computer already. If you don't have it, you can go out and you can buy it. I believe Apple has reduced the price significantly, and you can get a bundle pack that comes both with OS 10 Snow or Leopard rather, iWork 09 and iLife 09. I would definitely recommend reformatting your computer before you start installing Snow Leopard. To do this, put in the Leopard DVD or your, your gray disk for your reinstallation, and then it, reformat your computer by going into the disk utilities and start from scratch. That way you're not going to have any little issues uh, with the computer itself, which I had with mine. Stay tuned, we're going to be talking about the Finder in the next segment of Getting Started with OS X Snow Leopard.